Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae, and it's back to the Let's Play of Battle Cats Into the Future Chapter 3. As we have already launched straight into Singapore, there are immediately three miscreants, no, four, five, six miscreants emerging from the base. Those consist of two peoples, two doges, and now three snatches, and now many peoples. I'm going to start dealing with them because, you know, that's generally what is advised for people to do. So, I don't know what's coming in this level. I've got no idea. I haven't really played the game in a while. And, to be honest, I'm not sure. So, I'm going to do a basic little cat spam my three units here, waiting for something shocking to happen while I increase my money-making potential. Ah! Flippity doodah! It's a boar and many other things. I was not prepared for this in the slightest, but we'll see how we do. We had loads of money and now we spent it. Let's build some protection for our cat man. How will he do? Well, I think he hit the boar, but now the boars hit him. Oh, good, good shot there from the Aurora and Cat Titan smashing it before unfortunately being sacrificed for the cause of this Martyr Titan indeed. But that boar is ripping through my army. I thought it murdered Catman, luckily he hasn't murdered Catman quite yet, but I can see that happening very soon. Oh yes, boar's been stopped! That will be the Valkyrie. Oh, poetry there. And as you... And as some people say, poetry in motion. Except the Valkyrie is poetry in stopping things. And speaking of stopping things, the boar has been defeated. But knowing this Into the Future Chapter 3, I somehow think there may be something more difficult in the pipeline. Let's find out. I'm going to build up some more cat spam and a few more expensive units coming down the desert path. But no! The level was strikingly easy, and has been completed. And so on to... Australia. That was a terrible accent. Oh, the grassy green lands. And an alien koala. What is in store for us in this level today? A kangaroo, of course. Being Australia, the main animal stereotype is here and we will now use our animals to defeat what looks like two of them. And with the magic of editing, we're in the same battle once again. Yes, I was momentarily distracted from what I was doing due to a freak occurrence of things. But luckily, I am now back and ready to defeat these kangaroos. Unfortunately, there seems to be an alien kangaroo, the cheater of all the kangaroos, coming to kill my cats mercilessly with his claws of steel and glue of skin. But no, says Catman, that will not be happening today. In fact, no, not at all. Oh no, it's a moose. There's that sparkling zeppelin of greenness. Oh, and a black kangaroo. We have got our work cut out for us here. But I have a sneaking suspicion that we will be fine. Because the cat army is fabulous and will remain so until it is inevitably beaten by some such rather difficult enemy in the future levels. But as we go at the moment, Alien Koala is agreeing in my mind that we are doing absolutely fine. We are breezing through this level. It is perfectly, perfectly good and ordinary and Fantabulous. Just watch this and watch my units breeze through it. Breeze through it like a gentle afternoon breeze on a warm summer's day. Goodbye, Australia. And 140,000 XP to boot. And 10 cat food. And a normal drop bear. And an aqua crystal. Yeah. 